This is really uh, a horrible news, no? Uh, because uh, of the changes of uh, wind currents, I, uh, it will now simulate, uh, it, based on simulations, will affect uh, Batangas uh, and the rest of Mindoro, the other parts of Mindoro, which is really uh, horrible because, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, um, marine protected areas uh, in the within the Verde Island Passage uh, with Mindoro and Batangas now uh, possibly uh, getting affected, uh, the rest of, of Mindoro. The Verde Island Passage is noted as the Amazons of the oceans. Uh, it's the center of the center of global marine shortage uh, with concentration of uh, marine species uh, and corals and many others like the, the turtles, etc. No? Uh, but it also is a a a a, um, a, a treasure economically uh, because around two million uh, fisher fox are dependent on uh, uh, marine uh, resources from the Verde Island Passage. It is estimated that uh, it produces around at least twelve billion a year uh, in terms of fish catch, uh, notwithstanding. The, the uh, booming tourism industry uh, in the four uh, uh, municipalities of Batangas, which basically are the main uh, destination of tourism, uh, like Lian, uh, Mabini, and uh, two others, it, it, it is it producing around at least 5 billion uh, a year uh, pesos. Not, uh, and, and if you include the uh, affected, already affected tourism industry of, of uh, Mindoro, it can reach to around close to 10 billion pesos uh, a year. Uh, so there's really a lot of uh, implications uh, now that is projected that it will affect the Verde Island Passage, uh, 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 concretely Batangas and the rest of Mindoro. Sir, according to forecast, this will probably hit the uh, Verde Island Passage by Thursday. We still have time. Is there anything we can do at this point to be on defensive mode? And do mangroves actually work at stopping uh, the oil spill from entering the place? Um, it, uh, we're, we're now in, the, uh, in racing against time. No? Uh, and that's why we've been uh, urging the government to act quickly. Uh, um, by it, it's really appalling that until today uh, there is uh, the existence of a uh, remote operating vehicle, the rover, that will identify the exact location and, and uh, you know the, the spill um, uh, in order for us to be able to contain it is not it's still missing. It's not it's not yet uh, operational, um, and that, that's that's really concerning. Uh, but I think uh, the, the government, the local governments of Batangas, um, Mindoro, and the rest of the Verde Island Passage should mobilize the citizenry, uh, especially our fisher folk uh, communities, uh, who will be greatly affected because there are many indigenous uh, uh, ways, no? um, especially taking off from the learnings of the Gimaras oil spill that uh, one, once you mobilize communities, uh, they can do their share in terms of addressing or containing the oil spill. Um, unfortunately, yes, uh, you know, mangroves will play a, a very critical role, but it will also be affected mm -hmm. by the oil spill. Right. Uh, you mentioned uh, that the locals of the area who are, of course, mostly going to be affected by the oil spill in their daily lives, they have taken action. But how efficient are these oil spill booms that all the municipalities along the shore have been putting up? And also, Sir Jerry, how effective is just conducting cleanup operations versus, you know, just plugging the source of the problem, which could take time and technology? Um, and, and, and this is where all the lessons coming from the Gimaras uh, disaster uh, comes to the fore. No? Uh, and there are really lacking uh, 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 and concerning uh, uh, details that shows that we haven't learned from that disaster. Um, and, 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 and that's why we're glad that the Philippine government is now mobilizing the international community because the international community, specifically those that are, you know, have, have been effective in terms of dealing with oil spills, 
can actually mobilize their capabilities technology-wise. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, one should go into the source of containing it. And, and that's why we've been really urging the government to move to immediately deploy a, a remote operating vehicle to identify the exact location and, and, uh, and eventually uh, be able to at least uh, have the chance to close the, the oil spill uh, from the source. Uh, because that's, that's where it should be actually in terms of concrete actions. All right, just uh, one more question, Sir Jerry, really quickly as a follow-up. Are you satisfied with the government response so far? Uh, after the Gimeras oil spill, if I remember correctly, a task force was immediately formed to address this by then-President Arroyo. Um, as you said, we seem to have not learned anything from the oil spill, although the PCG did say that, that we do have some sort of a system for when this happens again. Um, what can you say about this, uh, the response this is, of the government? Yeah. Yeah, this is really, uh, it's really concerning. We know the magnitude of the challenge, no? Uh, this, is, this is like uh, affecting men, multiple uh, layers uh, in terms of the Verde Island Passage and its uh, economic and, and, and uh, bio, biodiversity uh, implication. Uh, and, and it's really quite clear that what the government uh, is doing right now is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not enough. Um, and that's why we need to urge the government, we're urging the government to actually disclose and be transparent about the gaps so that uh, uh, civil society groups, uh, the church uh, and, and local communities can actually, you know, do their part in terms of uh, helping the government to addressing this. Because at the end of the day, we are all affected on this. Um, and, 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 and as well as I think uh, today, uh, the owner of the oil has surfaced or the news about the owner of the, 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 the oil because uh, accountabilities and responsibility should also be uh, exacted on uh, not just the, the ship owner, but actually the owner of, of the oil itself. And it turns out that, you know, a subsidiary of San Miguel owns the oil. 